Hey everyone, it's Justine and welcome to the November release of So Suzy Stamps. Today I'm going to be starting off with a piece of four and a quarter by 11 cardstock and this is 110 pound Nina Solar White and it's already scored in the middle at five and a half inches. So I'm going to place a piece of masking tape there along the score line and this is masking tape from 3M and I'm going to block off an area because I'm going to be doing some blending. So I'm using my grid lines on my craft mat here to help me line it up straight and then I'm going to be starting my blending. So now I have everything lined up and you can see I put an extra piece on the bottom because I'm going to be going in from the bottom with my blending tool and I don't want to get any on my actual white background because I want this to be a clean and simple card which means no layers of paper on top except for the cardstock itself or the card base. So I'm going to start off with some red from Tim Holtz, and I believe this is brick door or barn red, I'm not sure, I think barn red. And then I'm going to go in with some sparse marmalade and work my way up into the top, blending those two colors together. And then I'm going to top it off with some spiced marmalade, or not spiced marmalade, some mustard seed, because I'm using spiced marmalade right now. And I'm just creating some fall colors um, in my background because I wanted it to give off a fall look because our monthly challenge um, during the month of November at so over at So Suzy Stamps is a fall challenge or Thanksgiving. So I wanted to create something that fit in that theme. Now the next thing I had to do was I had to clean off my fingers first because I don't want to get, that's my biggest habit is getting ink all over my white background and then I have to either photoshop it out for my blog or I have to recreate the card which is never fun and then I don't get to send it. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to take my Misty tool. Now you don't need the Misty tool for stamping here at all. The reason why I'm using the Misty tool is because my stamp press is so dirty and disgusting that I had to throw it in the garbage. And I'm just going to place my card here into the Misty. But first I have to remove the actual black um, foam because I'm going to be using cling stamps. So if you are using a Misty stay and you're using cling stamps, you actually have to remove the black foam because it's too thick. So I'm going to lay my tree here and kind of place it out and then I'm just going to remove that black foam. Alright, so So Suzy has some really pretty um, fall stamps and some really pretty leaves sort of blowing in the wind stamps this month that are available. There's more than this one here. So you have to get your hands on them. They're absolutely gorgeous and perfect create for creating cards like this. So I'm going to be stamping in Memento Black Ink. I really thought about using this with some gold embossing powder as well. I'm just not sure exactly how I'm going to use it yet. So I'm just going to go up and ink it again because I noticed on the right side that it didn't stamp very well, probably because my cling stamp is too close to the edge of the Misty. I probably needed to move my card over just a little bit, but if I push down harder, it was not a problem. So I'm just inking it up. I did it three times just to make sure to get a really great imprint. Um, again, you can stamp it once. It won't make a big difference. Lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment, but before I stamp my sentiment, I'm going to need to remove all of the masking tape, which is always kind of the fun part about masking is lifting off that tape and seeing what you created. So I'm just going to remove my Misty out of the picture right now so I can show you and reveal to you the actual background. So I'm just going to slowly peel it back. 3M tape tends not to rip your paper at all, even when I rip it off fast, but I like to be on the safe side. Um, some other tapes and washi tapes will definitely rip your paper if you rip it off too fast. So now you can see that I have just this masked off area with the beautiful colors that we created before, as well as partial stamped image from that tree stamp. And now I'm going to be um, stamping the sentiment. Now my sentiment is actually quite large and that's why I wanted to create such a small background because I didn't want anything really distracting from it. So I'm using one of the Happiness Is stamps from the Happiness Is series and so Susie has the Happiness Is stamp that you can buy separately and then she has a ton of other coordinating sentiments that go with it. So you can create a lot of cards with this Happiness Is stamp and we celebrated that actually last month over on the blog so you can check that out as well. And um, I have this one here that I haven't actually used yet and it's happiness is fall leaves at my feet warm cider in my hand and you filling my heart and I think it's just a really cute sentiment and I was actually planning on stamping this on the inside of the card and just leaving the happiness is that would have worked as well but that would have required more photography on my part and I was being lazy so I wanted to focus on both of those but I think it would be also beautiful if you just had the happiness is and then the other sentiment stamped in the, on the inside of the card. It probably wouldn't distract so much from the background that we created and probably would have put more focus on the actual colored part of the piece. But anyway, it just depends on what you want to focus on. I think both ways are absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm just going to touch it up with some more ink. Um, I really like to double stamp with my Misty and really get a really intense black color. 
So that's the end of today's card tutorial other than just folding my card over and making it into an actual card instead of one just gigantic piece of paper. So I'm just going to use my bone folder. I'm going to check out that crease line there that I created and I'm just going to enforce that crease there so it makes a nice top folding card. I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial today and you'll check out So Susie Stamps release over on my blog. There's an eye up in the corner, a link down in the description and I have all the stamps focused on my blog. All the supplies used are linked to as well as on my blog as well as below in the video description. You can click up above to see that. You can click on the moving video to check out my last So Zuzi Stamps video and over on the right on the subscribe button you can click to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and I'll catch you tomorrow.